homemade peach cobbler fresh out the oven warm sweet and delicious full of so much flavor hey guys jackie cooks here thank you for tuning in hope you are doing well today you ready we're going to start off by adding two 29 ounce cans of del Monte sliced yellow peaches next we're going to add one fourth cup of brown sugar one and three fourth cup of granulated sugar Yep, that's a lot of sugar. Now it's time for our trilogy, which includes nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. These are important ingredients. Two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon. About two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract. Don't get that imitation or fake stuff. Get the real pure vanilla extract. Yep, that's right. We're gonna mix these ingredients very well together. It smells so good, very good. I always do a taste test of your syrup or gravy. Make sure it's perfect. We're gonna let that simmer on medium low heat. Let those flavors blend. To our bowl, we're gonna add one and one half cup of self-rising flour. We're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar. More sugar. Now we're gonna add one cup of milk to hold these babies together. This recipe is so easy. We're gonna mix this very well. On April 13th is National Peach Cobbler Day, and it was created by the Georgia Peach Peach Council to sell canned peaches in the 1950s. I already melted one half to three fourth cup of unsalted butter and poured it in my nine by thirteen pan. And I'm just gonna pour that batter all over that butter and let that mix. You ready? Okay guys, our peaches are ready. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't even need any crust. I could just eat this right now. I could eat it all. We're just gonna scoop that out into our bowl and get ready to put it in that batter. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and lay those peaches on that batter. Spread it out any way you want to because it's gonna taste so delicious. Can't have no peach cobbler without the juice. Can't have no peach cobbler without the syrup. We're just going to go ahead and pour that all into our batter. Woo! Can't have no dry peach cobbler because it's all about the juice. I went ahead and topped that with some cinnamon. And now I'm just going to put that in the oven. Will you just look at that? It's done. It's done! Just look at that hot bubbly syrup. Waiting on me to attack it. Look at that beautiful golden brown crust. The crust is very important and it came out perfect, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is one of my favorite peach cobbler recipes and I have about five different recipes. I had two. I topped it with some vanilla bean ice cream. And this is the moment of truth. Oh my God, it is so good. I'm supposed to be tasting it, but I can't stop eating it. I just can't stop. This is supposed to be a taste test. I'm not supposed to eat it all right now, but I just can't help myself because it's so good. You guys, please make this recipe. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Tell me how good it is. Oh my God. The cinnamon, the nutmeg, the allspice is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. This bite is just so good, delicious, sweet flavorful, magnificent, warm. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. It is so good, guys. I am so proud of myself. I think this is the best peach cobbler I've ever made. And I've made a lot of peach cobblers. Oh my God, it's so good.